Hey there! Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name's Andrea and I love, love, love the Pilates method of exercise. And if you've been here before, thank you so much for coming back. Today I have sort of a, um, I'm going to call it a Pilates public service announcement. So it is a little bit talky, it won't be a very long video, um, and I promise I'll try to make it not a rant, but you know, sometimes it's a slippery slope. Um, but I wanted to bring you a little message uh, from Jay Grimes, and the message that I have is really one that came to me because I had a lesson and I asked a question and it was kind of the same question that I get asked a lot when I am presenting in, um, in studios. And I guess I always feel like my answer to this question that I get is not really the answer that people want to hear. <laughs> so I feel, I, I tend to feel a little bit like, mm, I know you really hope to get a lot of information from this answer, but this answer from, from me is probably not very satisfying. And so my question to Jay was pretty much the same, in the same vein, and I got the same answer that, that I usually give to people. So on one hand, I felt like, well, I'm given the right answer. <laughs> and it was nice to feel it on the receiving end too. So my question, I'll tell you my question first, and then I'll tell you what happens, uh, the question I get when I go to studios. So I was working on my mat workout, and I have a confession, I am not a big fan at the moment of the shoulder bridge on the mat. And the shoulder bridge where your hands are under your hips, I love this high scissors and the high bicycle, but I feel like once my feet hit the floor and I'm doing the shoulder bridge, I feel like I just don't know what to do with my stomach, my connection goes away, it's just not happening. Um, and so, my question was, basically, if I could change the exercise because, to sort of help my connection or help me do the exercise better. So I, my question was, could I take my hands away and place them on, my, on the mat, you know, because I thought that that would make the exercise better for me? And the answer, of course, is no. <laughs> That's not the point of the exercise, and this is not the place to fix X, Y, or Z. And my question, the, the question that I get asked when I work at studios all around the world, it's often the same question about the same exercise. So if you've asked this question to me before, uh, that it's, it's all good, and many people ask this question, and it's asking you to just um, the answer is just asking you to sort of think a little bit differently about the exercises and what you want to get out of your person doing them. So the question I get asked is, for the mat exercise spine stretch, if someone is very, very, very stiff and they're kind of like this, is it okay to sit them up higher? Often people suggest a box, like one of the moon boxes. So the question is, could I, you know, my stiff person, could they sit up higher so that they're not like this? And my answer is always, you know, the spine stretch is not really the place to fix that. And Jay also shared this with me. He, he gave the same answer that I'm about to give you about the spine stretch. So I know that the intention in changing the exercise a little bit to accommodate that issue in clients, the intention is to make them feel successful or to, um, to make them, but it's actually making them comfortable, more comfortable in the exercise. And, you know, comfort is really not what we're about. Um, but wanting to make them successful, that's, that's a good reason to want to do it. But I still have to say, you're kind of just supporting the problem that you would like to go away. And spine stretch can be really your test. Like maybe if it's so demoralizing to them that you want them to feel successful and they do it and they feel like crap, of course, just take it out. Do some stretches for, you know, spine stretch is about making, a you know, stretching all of the back of us, basically, especially kind of the middle back and the hamstring, you know, everything back there. And so we have other exercises and really everything you're doing in Pilates is trying to open and elongate the back of you. 
Um, use some other exercises on other pieces of equipment to work on their, that opening and then use your spine stretch to see if it's gotten any better. If all of your hard work you're doing on the reformer, the ladder barrel, you know, everywhere else in the studio, the Cadillac, see if that work shows up and the spine stretch improves. So that's usually what I tell people. And so Jay told me, you know, this is not the place to fix the shoulder bridge. Do, do stuff other places, you know, and then use the mat to see if all that stuff has been working. So I just wanted to pass that along to you, that all of your questions are valid. We all ask questions that when we hear the answer, we go, oh, oh yeah, okay, that wasn't, that's really not the answer I wanted to hear. But I gotta keep trying, gotta keep asking questions. If you have other similar questions or you'd like to see more videos like this, do let me know in a comment below. Thank you so much for listening to me chatter about and not really move very much, and I will see you later. If you'd like to see more videos like this, give it a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, what are you waiting for? <laughs> Subscribe, click the bell icon, and you'll be notified every time I post a video, which is twice a week, Tuesdays and Fridays. Thanks so much, take care of yourselves, and I will see you later. Bye!